All right, what's up guys? What's going on? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Yak Pack Outdoors. Today we're here at the 13 Fishing Booth. And uh, you know, we've got somebody, we've got somebody here. Uh, he just, some, some stranger, I walked by the booth and, and he was like, hey, do you want to see these new frogs? And I was like, I don't, do you know how to fish? And he was like, yeah, kind of somewhat. No, I'm just kidding guys. This is Gene Jensen, AKA Fluke Master on YouTube. Uh, I'll link his stuff down below. You guys already know the deal. But he's going to tell you guys about 13 Fishing's new new, uh, new product, a couple new products. He's not going to go over everything, but a couple new things, and uh, it's gonna, we're going to have some fun. So, Gene, the floor is yours. All right. What's going on, guys? Um, 13's got a ton of new baits, and, and uh, like TJ said, I'm not going to talk about all of them. I'm going to just say, tell you to check out a lot of the soft plastics. I'm very happy about most of them, and uh, you guys that watch my videos know how honest I am about stuff. There's a few things that need to be tweaked, that kind of stuff, but I wanted to show you some of the highlights. All right, so this one's called the motorboat. It is a high floating soft plastic, super, super durable. I just pulled that out of the hook, but anyway, super durable. Um, and the difference is, is it's got a buzz bait prop. Man, look how stiff that stuff is. That's really durable, guys, by the way. It's, I, I, I just yeah, it's super stiff. It. Yeah. Really, really stiff. Now, what we've done is, or what they've done is, right here, my caffeine's wearing off. See my hands? <laughs> uh, right here, you've got a split ring. And then on the split ring, they have a string tied to it. And this is a, a really, really strong Dacron. And what it happens is they mold it around the string. So that's permanently part of the bait. It's got a plastic buzz bait prop to it. And the reason it's got a plastic buzz bait prop is if it was metal, you couldn't fish this thing slow. You would have to fish it fast. And a plastic one comes up easier, it's lighter. And so you can slow drag it and you get that gurgle and kill it. And slow drag it and kill it and it floats so it doesn't, it's not going to sink down to the bottom or anything else. It just stays up on top and it just drag it and they they annihilate it. I, the ones it I, that deadly. I fished. It looks deadly. Yeah, the ones that I fished were all the prototypes. They had something different holding the holding the blade on and holding the hook in. And so these are, I haven't fished the production ones yet, but I can't wait to get a hold of them. Now the one I really like is the oh, frog, yeah. okay? We're going to talk about a few of the highlights with the frog. Uh, one, you notice the first thing is they've got Flashaboo um, coming out of, uh, for the legs basically, along with some living rubber. What this creates is two different types of action with the legs. And so what happens is that Flashaboo stays still and the, and the living rubber spreads. And so you got the action from, it just looks different. It's one of those things that they just look at it like, come up and test it out. They're just really inquisitive anyway. Another thing you'll notice is there's no weight back here. All right, and, and before now, this has really been a difficult thing is because the weight gets in the way of the hook set a lot of time. What they've done is they've moved the weight right here to the hook. And then from the weight, you notice right here, we have some heat shrink. For years, one of the secrets that I have for topwater frogs is I've been wrapping that part of the hook with braided line. And that accomplishes two things. It plugs the hole but still allows the air to escape when the bass bites, and it keeps your hooks from being torqued out on big fish. A lot of the frogs, and I fish a lot of different brands, if you don't do that, if you don't wrap them with braid, and you get a big fish on, it will torque that hook out, and it will get, gain leverage and be able to pop that frog out. And that's why a lot of times you, you lose those frogs. Well, by adding that super tough heat shrink on there, what it does is the same thing. Plugs the hole, holds your hooks together, gives you a better hook set. They've opened up the gap a little bit on the hook, They've shrunk, they've, the, the distance between the eye of the hook and the and the back of the hook is a little bit smaller than what I'm used to, and I haven't tested out whether that's, that makes a difference or not. But that is what they've done with these, these new frogs. They've got a popping frog version, and they got a regular frog version. And, oh, and also by adding the weight, it makes it easier, the weight up front, it makes it easier to walk, which is pretty cool. So you can be able to walk it a little bit easier. So. That's it, those are the two I wanted to show you. This is one, I'll show you this one just real quick. It's not out yet. All these other baits, except for this one's gonna be coming out, are, are gonna be out as soon as iCast is over. This one's gonna be a 2020 bait, and it's a it's a, uh, it's a walking bait, but it fish it in place, the same areas that you fish a frog. So they got a little bit more tweaking to do to it and stuff like that, but the guys that are testing it on the water right now are wrecking them which is amazing. And, and I got one of my buddies is testing them up on Lake Chickamauga and he's killing them on Chick right now. So you'll see more about that in the future, but that's the kind of stuff we got coming out with 13 Fishing. The new soft plastics are really, really cool. Uh, my favorite one is called the joystick. You guys have to go look it up, but it's a, 
I'm excited. And uh, the jerk is my favorite. The jerk. The jerk. Oh, really? Love the jerk. Ah, it's the old flute style bait. The old jerk. <laughs> All right, guys, Gene, I appreciate that. All right, guys, Gene Jensen, a.k.a. Flute Master. So I got a question for you about TJ. Should he give me my bona fide kayak back, <laughs> or should he keep making videos in it? That's question Leave of the day. comment down in the description. Question of the day. Question of the day. <laughs> All right, hey, these baits, I don't know what's going to be my favorite. I assume it's probably going to be the frog right here. Yeah. This, oh, guys. So in about four weeks, I'll be up in La Crosse, Wisconsin, and I'm going to put these to the test. Absolutely. And I guarantee oh. I'm going to lose about 10 of them to a pike. I don't know. Look, I don't know. He, he might have mentioned this. One is a popper and one is not. Yep. What? Yeah, one's a popper. Oh, my goodness. All right, and the Gene. popper's easy to walk. For a popper, it's pretty easy to walk. That's so. my favorite one. Yeah. Gene, I appreciate your time. Yeah, brother. And uh, we'll catch back up here soon. Thanks again for watching, guys, and we'll catch y'all next time.